Five sets, men's singles final. The team up. Let's first off. Quite a nasty slip for Novak Djokovic after the serve, pushing off. And, uh, 15 30. You certainly don't want too much of this. The ball arrives back quickly, and it's the edge of the left shoe that gives 15 30 already. It's a much underrated serve. Novak Djokovic has. It's accurate. Be interesting today with Fergus Murphy in the chair. If the shot clock runs down to zero, whether Fergus Murphy delivers a warning. It's tight. Ready, 14. You can count on the fingers of one hand how many backhands down the line from that position he'll miss over the course of a match.
you. One of the features of the semi-final for Novak Djokovic against Yannick Sinner was the amount of sliding that he was doing. In fact, both of them were. No tournament for Novak Djokovic in preparation for this Wimbledon. He just likes to come here and win it. Alcaraz, of course, winner at Queen's Club. From break point down, Djokovic off and running. His opponent today was born. Carlos Alcaraz to start. Lab fifteen. to be Love study. careful Tim if you get to Novak into those corners of the court that's one area where he excels yeah I mean it's it was a good forehand from Alcaraz and, and that's the response from Djokovic on the run so balanced so powerful Djokovic with a half chance let's first off Just a gust of wind as Djokovic went to return that ball. It stopped in the air. There was a fine adjustment from Djokovic. Love 14. He kept the return deep and long, and it's an error as this young Spaniard pushes hard in the first game. <laughs> Certainly not as windy as yesterday. Three break points. Let's first start. Fifteen forty. He was 20, Goran Ivanisevic, when he was in his first final in 1992. Ferrero. 
looking after Alcaraz on the tennis court, French Open champion, former world number one. Some decent players, these coaches. Well, the forehand's going to be key for Alcaraz this afternoon because he's one of the few players in the world that can hit with enough power off that wing to get it past Djokovic on the baseline. away what a return of serve which set up that forehand mid-court and having saved a break point where do you tactically make a decision to attack Djokovic in a final like today that's the hardest part because there are no weaknesses oh, it's, it's very difficult to come up with that game plan you know is it to try and hit big up the middle to give Djokovic no angles and then try and go to the corners is hoping he has a bad day a tactic? It's windy out there, just things blowing off the umpire's chair. Fifteen left. Weiss on the left-hand side. Daniel Craig on the right. Brad Pitt's in the house as well. Conditions making ball striking hard for both early on. 15 30. But that was an extraordinary amount of time there between the first and second serve. And there is no shot serve clock once the first serve's been missed, but he is taking longer than normal. If that goes to zero. Mr. Murphy will be in there.
the ball so hard. If you're just turning on, this is not a computer game. They're actually real. The standard of the ball striking, the speed. Yeah, in these conditions as well, as Todd mentioned, it is very swirly out there. The breeze certainly, the majority of the time, coming from Djokovic's back. Is that in? No, it's called out. <laughs> Novak is wagging his finger. No, no, no. Left baseline. Ball was called out. Ah, it's definitely worth a check. It's right in front of the commentary position here. And when he left it, it was like, oh, okay, fine, it's going out. But was it out? Okay. Fourteen setting. Carlos Alcaraz has two challenges remaining. And uh, uh, And he's got out of trouble on both his opening two service games and he broke in the middle three love how does he look like that that guy brad pitt 59 years old senior figure in the american entertainment industry this is an entertainment and this is a great show the stage center court the final of the championships wimbledon That's a wonderful return of serve. Love 15. And while the wind is swirling, it appears that Djokovic in front of the roll box is returning into whatever breeze there is. George and Charlotte. Been given 15, no 17. opportunity to settle, this won't help either. Just a slip there, it's, it's the overextension of the knee is yeah. the danger there, isn't it? Extension from his opponent making him work hard here, Alcaraz. He needs to somehow hold this service game. Isn't it incredible how Djokovic can neutralize an opponent? As soon as they serve, bang, the ball's back in 0.45 of a second. And that's how it feels to play Novak. Thirty 
Gilgamesh challenging the call. Right service line, call was called in. It's a break point. Saved. Novak Djokovic has two challenges remaining. Line ball, cross court forehand, Djokovic. Half volleyed by Alcaraz. He was thinking about challenging that, probably, but was blinded by the chalk that came up off the ball. That was relentless from Serbian. No time to settle, no cheap points for Alcaraz. start for Alcaraz as Djokovic in that first game escaped the break point and he's getting a mauling here and it's embarrassing for him and you look at that you can see Alcaraz is the world number one Djokovic two but he'll feel you know he just nothing's going his way it's no doubt it's uncomfortable but you know it's best of five sets they played in Paris Alcaraz lost the first set first set that day was able to respond he's got to just take his time make this set law last as long as possible what's fascinating though is that when we talk about what does Alcaraz bring long. tactically if you look at the other end Novak in the four biggest matches of the year so far has taken the weapon away from his opponent and he's doing that already today by going hard into the forehand of Alcaraz and getting him to make mistakes quickly And there's another example of that. So he, he has gone in to say, I'm going to take your weapon away. And by doing that, then where does the opponent go? Generally, there is the issue of the, the mental game comes into it and belief starts to dissipate. 1991 champ Michael Stieck on the right. Big Becker with that forehand return, you may remember. It's only the fifth game and you almost sense from the crowd's reaction they're having to get behind Alcaraz, the underdog really is up against it. These next few minutes are just a time for Alcaraz to just acclimatize to this rarefied air. And, you know, try a few things, settle in, just take it easy now. This set, 99% I mean, is gone. So hopefully relax. leads five games to love first set this set is over but I still think this is an important service game for Akarath he needs to just get his side of the scoreboard going in this first set get a game on the board and then it will potentially give him the opportunity to serve first in the second set 
28 Thank minutes you, played in ready. this first set. It's not a classic so far. Love five. That'll do. Fifteen love. Poor Tunisian player, Ons Jabeur, so popular around the world. Really had a hard time against Vondrusova of the Czech Republic, who would end up winning their women's singles final yesterday. Nobody expecting such a, a contest today. I felt very sorry for Ron Gibber. Well, of course, we played both semis with the roof closed on Friday, and you almost feel that uh, Carlos would have been better off if the roof was closed. Today. There is a potential chance at some point of a light shower, which may make that happen. I think then his ball striking will be far more effective than what it currently is. You know, Novak is, I think, the best difficult weather player in conditions of anyone that's ever played the game. Oh. The way he adjusts, the way he moves, really, really looks like he gets a bad bounce. He's always able to be in a better position than most of his opponents. His court speed there. I know the Spaniard won the point. But if you have to play points like Alcada has Four just played to win a game or a point, he's just gone line, line. Djokovic sending messages, isn't he? He's not going to give up on anything. Oh, boy. That's the way he finished it. Come on, game point. Tennis. He's on the board. He's got a game. And it's taken over half an hour for the world number one to get his side of the scoreboard ticking. The That's approach was great. The return was extraordinary. Jokovic the approach was excellent. The passing shot was magnificent. <laughs> message for Alcara to his coaching box but also a message from Djokovic to Fergus to players, please do not shout out during the rally thanks Novak going with the big second serve. Love. Which is interesting because 
he often will roll the ball in, but against Thalkraz, he knows he can't give him a chance to actually tee up on the return. So he's taking that weapon away from him also here in this opening set. Forty love. Love. It's an uncomfortable start for Alcaraz, obviously losing that first set 6-1, but I think this is where he's really got to show the body language to Djokovic, to the crowd, that he's ready to turn the tables. There's been a vast increase in the amount of drop shots being played on tour. People see how effective it can be. Nobody does it better on the forehand side than Alcaraz, and he's lost that point. You see how quick Djokovic was after that. <laughs> Great pick up there from Alcaraz. I was thinking to myself before that, the point we've just 30, seen, when you get that forehand, you're having a difficult time, trust your strength, go for it. Again, he hit such a good approach shot and then had to make such a difficult pickup. Fifteen. Yeah. Good start. One love for Al First Karaf. game, second set. Todd, what are we seeing on the numbers? Well, we're seeing when uh, Carlos goes into a attacking tennis, the defense of Djokovic is extraordinary. Just have a look at this, the conversion score when they are attacking Alcaraz at 50%. But look at Djokovic. He's gone hard into the forehand. When he's getting that, he's, he's getting control of the point and he's not relinquishing anything. That number for Alcaraz was in the 40s just a moment ago and it's way down from what he's been throughout the tournament in reaching this final. Even more impressive considering the blustery conditions. It's a big double. Love 15. First one of the match after 40 minutes or so. First point of a game is not a good time to double. Ah, there's Jack. Security Jack. He's not watching the tennis. 
martial artist. That's where he says his concentration comes from. Too long, and here's an opportunity for Alcaraz to get involved in this. You always have to remember it, that even the greatest of players come off their level Up ever 30. so slightly. And after such a clean set of just two unforced errors from Djokovic, this is that moment, and so you have to take advantage of it if you're the young Spaniard. Djokovic just looking up at his box a little bit. His turn to be slightly distracted. wasn't lucky that's one of the shots of the year really clips the tape but he meant it 15 30 gets down for both these shots the slice backhand approach balance split step and just shows beautiful feel fine margins could have easily been love 40 times getting close again Three, two, and off we go again. That is outrageous defense. And he got so many occasions, you would say, well, that was luck. But Djokovic does it so often. I mean, such a big forehand. That Gets one. the racket out, manages to get the ball back onto the baseline and then drives the backhand down the line, turning defense into attack. Just as Todd was saying. Amazing. Still 30 all and under pressure. Disappointed with that. 40, 94 miles an hour into the hitting zone on the forehand. At 30 all. Can't give away those cheap points. Not against this man. As he dispatches that overhead. The sports psychologist will tell you that when you're coming off your level, like I just spoke about, you need to take as much time as you can in between points to be able to sort of neutralize till you can get your momentum back again. Novak taking extraordinary long time in between first and second serves also. He's averaging 12 to 15 seconds from here 
to hit the second serve. It's almost like we need a, a shot clock on this part of the game. Serve clock. But it's very deliberate from him. He knows what he's doing here. And that's wide. He's unable to make it. The net cord that he benefited from early in this game at love 30. And now he uh, applauds the crowd in a sarcastic Andy, way. Alcaraz. Why are you applauding this guy? He got lucky. I should never have missed that. He's um, mildly offended by the support his opponent is getting. He likes it when people are against him sometimes. He uses it. See, he, he's given a dodgy ball toss and then balked again when the time has got to zero and not got the penalty. So he's, he's, he's on thin ice here. So, wh where, so where's the consistency from the umpires? You know, he's gaining an advantage by, by doing this in, in a way. If he'd have thrown the ball up yes. and then not hit it, that's absolutely fine. But the fact that he didn't actually go through the motion, you'd say 25 seconds was up. But he's already done the ball toss up one and caught it <laughs> yeah. in this game. So he, he's well, in the letter of the law, he's allowed to do that. But if he doesn't throw the ball up, you would say that the 25 seconds is up. It should be a time violation. against him, the Nets against him. Can Alcaraz advantage. take advantage? to this Wimbledon men's singles final. And Alcaraz probably feels he's a part of it for the first time. To love. Alcaraz leads two games to love. Second set. And it will be interesting to watch how Novak Djokovic, the four-time defending champion, seven-time champion in all, how he reacts to the crowd's support of his younger opponent. They support his opponents because he rarely loses. Love 15. Massive occasion for him. The King of Spain is here, for goodness sake. Last time King Felipe was here, he was Principe Felipe and he was watching Rafa Nadal. He returns as the king. There was a contortion from Djokovic here on this forehand side. The and great poise there to make that shot. Yeah. I've never seen a shot hit with those physical angles before on the forehand side. Djokovic, unbelievable there.
<laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You're right, Andrew. He does feel a part of it now, and, and his ball striking and his own movement. This Alcaraz is actually 30, lifting. 15. He's got the adrenaline going. The nerves are gone. And now he's playing some of the best tennis he's played in the tournament. Oh, that is some good fortune. Acknowledged. Quick nod. Karath, I think he had that volley. It was a well-struck passing shot over the low part of the net. It had power. Thanks, my boy. Corner. Thank you. Interested spectator, the last man to beat Djokovic on center 10 years ago. The final. Oh. Ah. Talking with Neil Skupski, who won the doubles with the Netherlands, Wesley Koolhoff yesterday. 40, 30. Couldn't find a restaurant to eat in Wimbledon, Neil, and uh, family sub Skupski. I just won Wimbledon. Can I get a table? He went after that, didn't he? 105 miles per hour, that forehand. One of the hardest he's hit throughout the tournament. Only two men have hit it, in fact, over 100 miles per hour off that wing. Sinner, the other. The jump shot hasn't been effective at all thus far in this match. Just put pressure back on him is all that it has done. Point to get it back on serve. Safety in mind from Alcaraz. Djokovic, a huge roar. Over in, uh, over in Wimbledon Park. And uh, after a 90-second rest, here come the players once again. No event complete without a selfie. So just when you thought Alcaraz might himself ahead enough to make it one set all. Djokovic is back. Oh, no. I, I think it, today is really hard to play Love 15. That drop shot, because it's so breezy, it, it actually, as you decelerate into a ball to 
give it some softness. You, you actually really need to commit in windy conditions, and, and the racket has to get through the hit um, fast. And when you take the pace off like that, you lose control of the ball quicker than normal. like being beaten by a oh, drop 30. shot yeah with that being said Todd you think you should be playing the percentage which is you know driving the ball in the wind not trying to play those touch and feel shots Could have made that, should have made that. 15 30. It's a great play to drive the second serve return and move forward. Here it is, recognizes what a good return. He's in position, didn't need to be that cute. Two future kings. That's first song. Not getting a lot of first serves in this set, Djokovic. Only six out of 15 attempts. 30, 40. And uh, this wasn't a serious slip. That's more, more drama, really. Upset with himself. point of tennis in the wind in a final gruesome that's exactly what he wants what about some love for me it's 29 nasty shots 
Lots of footwork. Yeah. Heart rate up. That's the way Djokovic loves to save break points. Him against 15,000. Loves this. He'd hate it if we all started cheering for him. Fascinating matchup. One versus two in the world. Himself out of that point quickly after the tough rally. Advantage, Djokovic. He wanted a short one there, Alcaraz. Yes. Djokovic did well to hit the ball on the serve there. Big gust of wind just took the ball away. Difficult day for good looking tennis. Yeah, oh, it's a great game. game. Big hole. Got to hand it to him. 29 shot rally on a break point down. Not even close to missing. Two games all. Second set. Oh, maybe that's why he's won 23 grand slams and a few other things besides. A winning record against the other two great protagonists in his generation Federer and Nadal. There it is that Djokovic go hard into the Alcaraz forehand and draws the error once again. I also feel Love 15. I don't think Carlos has used his slice backhand effectively enough today. It's a very good shot. He can hit it firm, short and hard. He he absolutely unraveled Medvedev in the semi-finals with that. If he could get that to Djokovic, get Djokovic to come back with the slice, then he can start to get more forehands on his own terms. He almost got a couple of those in that 29-point rally. Yes. 15 yeah. off. A couple of slices, a yeah. forehand and a backhand. Right then, and he can get it into his left-hand corner and hit the forehand off and pull it through the line. That's his best shot. But Novak's so clever at putting him out wide so that he doesn't get to the part of the court he likes. Thirty fifteen. Thirty five. Well that's just ridiculous, isn't it? He's only played seventy one slams. That's if he goes to the final of the US Open, he gets to the final of more than half of the slams that he plays. It's madness. Four major championships each year. 40, 15. The Grand Slams, Australia, France, Wimbledon, and the US Open in New York at the end of the summer. And this year, Djokovic has won a tenth Australian Open and a third French. And he remains the player to beat when the chips are down. The big stages. Doesn't get bigger than send a court against the world number one.
We saw a couple of slice nice backhands there, but have a look at this. In previous yes. rounds, he's had that mix between top spin and slice, 57-43 today, hitting over the ball basically all the time. Hasn't used a shot that's been effective for him in the tournament, Tim. Yeah, and I think that's, um, you would have thought, an effective shot against Djokovic to try and keep the ball low, get it out of his hit zone. It's an underrated volley. It's a brilliant volley. Acknowledged from Djokovic. Advantage, Alcaraz. Better match in the second set, isn't it? Alcaraz had a break, lost it, held there. You we'll see whether Novak thank can you. pick up his serving Ladies from this end. Had a bit of trouble with the ball toss, with the ready. breeze pushing that ball forward. He's had to chase it a bit. See whether he can make an adjustment. King Djokovic side to side. Couldn't break him down, so had to resort to the drop shot. Set up the backhand pass, just rolled it cross court. Certainly finding his feet now. Looking to dictate these rallies from the back of the court. doesn't get played any better than the last two points. And this is the level it has to be no, against Djokovic. Steady. I mean, such a pure strike down the line. Looked a little bit like a deer in the headlights in the first set, but now Alcaraz 
finding his feet, bringing that belief to his player box. There's that bit of an issue with the ball toss from this end. After two such good points to set up Love 30. Can't afford again to miss that second serve return. Might get away away with it against other players, but less so against Djokovic. And another, that time then, much slower second seven. serve, which actually caught Alcaraz off guard a little bit, didn't come to him. He had already started the stroke, the ball wasn't there. Already 42 Second minutes step. in this captivating set. Spaniard has to win this. Lost to Stefano Tsitsipas in five top sets, second round this year. Sir Andy Murray. considered his future went on a family holiday with the children and he's playing on Fifteen love Dad liked the backhand volley. <laughs> yeah. Very nice technique. Dad's backhand volley looked quite good there yeah. in the player's box. He does have this complete game, though, for someone so young. up and so are many in the crowd a standing ovation for the effort from both players love. this was a very fine adjustment from Djokovic to play anything effective there and this was I mean it was point over for anybody else that, that is a big effort for 15 love down 
every point matters to this man. Just a slight miss hit on the return from Djokovic. Just a ball that didn't have much on it, and that's what Al Karaf will do. And that's what he's not been able to do throughout the course of this match because he has been playing shots from where he does not want them to, to be played from. God, this is a high standard tennis match, it really is. Game Al Polished off with an ace and wide. 4-3. We've seen the clock's already running down here on the uh, serve for the first point for Novak. Yeah, well, let's keep an eye on it because there's no way he's going to be serving in 12 seconds' time. Is there? Oh, now the clock has stopped. Yeah. Why? Why did that clock stop? Because Fergus doesn't want to give him a time violation. <laughs> <laughs> That's we, we, we thought we'd seen it before. Now, does it matter? I, I, don't, I don't know, but it's an observation and it should be made. I, th I think it does matter because when you are out there and you've got a run of play and momentum on your side, Novak's very good at love. trying to halt your momentum. So you. Keep an eye if he gets down in a game or he's down love 30, he takes a lot longer. And if if the clock is being slightly stopped or not being officiated to the degree we would expect, then it's an advantage to Novak. Correction. First serve. Okay, no complaints from anybody there. Gold bear jumper since 2001. The 25 second shot clock starts after the score is called. It's supposed to be 25 seconds between points. And there's at least six, seven, eight seconds more often than that. Something has to get looked at. Forty fifteen.
Gang, Gilkeme. Four games all, second set. Has anybody got that language? <laughs> I would have thought he would be quite happy about that yeah. game because Alcaraz came off his level there, didn't he? A couple of cheap points from him. Djokovic is the one up. A set pressure back on Alcaraz. The frustration is certainly more Love down 15. the Spanish end feeling that Djokovic trying to get himself fired up by talking to his camp to feel connected to them this is a dangerous game for this 20 year old only turned 20 in May Djokovic forehand just clipping the tape here just gave Alcaraz that little bit of extra time size up the forehand rips it cross court well, was, that was well, a good. replay the point okay and now okay well Novak replay Djokovic. the point Challenging Says the ball right near his sideline. Ball was called in. Djokovic just checking. Did you overrule that? Yes, he did. Was he right to overrule it? Yes. Fifteen all. Temptation is for umpires Novak to stay out Djokovic of it because there's a Hawkeye system. But if it's right underneath remain. the umpire's chair, you can see it. Thirty fifteen. Oh, well down, Djokovic, and he's slid through on his backside there, and the racket's gone flying. You can just leave the racket there, I'll get it. It's okay, I think. Pretty nasty with the knees, this one. 40-15. Leads five games to four. Second set, first set, Djokovic. Thank you. Your voices, please. Just comes through a little Love differently 15. in the return. Patron of the club, Princess of Wales. Hitting a few balls with Roger Federer, as you do before the tournament. 
first time she'd played on grass. No. Is she any good? Very. The arm has come out. The line judge. And that pass off. was there. And I must say, this was tremendous from Djokovic. Oh, the <laughs> There's not many in the draw. And the forehand pass from Alcaraz to set that up was exceptional. Yeah. Look at this lunge. Oh. But this is a shot that Alcaraz will make 9 out of 10. Gosh, it would have been love 30, but it's 15 all. Then it forces 30 15. that type of error. Yes, he was at stretch, but he could have got that ball back into court and gone for some safety. Instead, goes for a very low percentage. Called out. Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic challenging the call. Right baseline, ball was called out. Wasn't the cleanest strike, and sometimes these just dip at the last second. Mm. Oh. Ball over ball. Replay the point. one extra centimetre long. If it had hit it one centimetre on. cleaner. <laughs> he would have been down a break point, which would have been a set point. This is a match of tiny margins. <laughs> I haven't seen Alcaraz like this in a long time, especially not all 11 matches he's played on the grass. This is not going as well as he wanted it to. Fascinating because uh, Alcaraz is feeling as if he has to go big, but in this game, he's been given three unforced errors from Djokovic. He maybe just keep working the ball around a little bit more, test the champion here as he's serving to stay in the set. Don't feel you have to be the complete aggressor just at this moment. Shot. Would we have called him a genius if it had come off in the middle of the rally? He's pressured into doing something he doesn't really want to do. 
you wonder whether this is a classic example of playing your opponent, not the ball. He has established himself in the rally. Could have just waited to ask the question, but went for the drop shot. See you, and you're brilliant. Honestly, it's incredible. Alcaraz played the drop shot. Djokovic was sprinting after it. Absolute greyhound. Five games all. Oh, he second had set. No chance of winning that point. Oh, wow. That's his number one fan over there. Jack's got his eye on her. Big Jack on security. Thank you. Djokovic on patrol for a break here. Oh. Ball almost hit Jack there. He didn't even notice. Yeah, look at this. This this personality that Djokovic brings. And this is also the beauty of the scoring system. You know, the pressure was all on Djokovic at 4-5, serving to stay in the second set, plays that strong game. The pressure then just goes straight up the other end. Unforced error, love 15. So many champions with us today. They've all been through this, both sides of the net, the differing emotions. It's reaching some sort of a crescendo, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, that's how good, that's how hard Alcaraz is having to win, work to win these points. Still, Djokovic had a play on that running forehand. Thirty fifteen. Neither player thinking about the world number one ranking. They're just trying to beat the other guy. Good change up on the serve. He hasn't used the body serve nearly enough here this afternoon. 40, yeah, fastest one of the day, 132 into the right hip. Even Djokovic couldn't get out of the way of that one. First set was no contest. This certainly is a contest in the second set. Pressure back on Djokovic.
And how, 15 loud. how clever is Novak here? Just He plays his drop shot, but he's watching the racket face of Carlos. He knows he's got that face closed, and he can't hit the little chip, which was the only way he was going to make it cross court. So he knows that the shot's sitting on the line. He leaves a little there and then covers it. Novak Djokovic challenging the call, left service line, the ball was called out. <laughs> Second serve. Fifteen all. Novak Djokovic has one challenge remaining. Thirty fifteen. up from Alcaraz with the slice backhands just changing the pace. 30 all. Again, you it. A tie break it is. First to seven, two points clear, you know the deal. Let me just Six tell games you, all. Novak Djokovic, Second one of the sets. great stats Tie break. Both players have received for this Serbian one player. additional challenge. He's at the French Open recently, he played six tie breaks and he didn't make an error. It's ridiculous. He's played six tie breaks here, he's won them all. He's won 13 tie breaks in a row and he hasn't lost one since April. Also won Carlos three. Alcaraz challenging the Roger ball. Federer in the 2019 final right. here. Baseline it's ball was called out. Crazy record. Yeah, he's won 14 tie breaks in a row in the slams this year. Oh. He lost surprisingly a tie break in the second game. round in Melbourne to Enzo Cusho. Carlos Alcaraz from has France. Six one six seven six two six love. <laughs> Love. 
Well, he has so many great numbers statistically to his game, doesn't Two, he? Zero. All the titles, yeah, but statistically what he tends to do in the time break is he goes cross court more than he normally would. And that first point, it was Alcaraz that took the risk down the line, the lower percentage. He plays percentages better than anyone in time breaks. Two first serves. And then because three zero, he, de he defends so well, he then forces the opponent to go for more. You've got to be aggressive to win. That, that, that's no doubt about that. But he he presses the opponent to push that button a little earlier than they actually need to. Ten years ago, Murray didn't play any tie breaks one. against him, just beat him in Djokovic. straight sets, that's the way. The last time Djokovic lost on this court, how ridiculous again. Now Karath is in the breaker. Three, two. Djokovic. human after all because that was low percentage and look at the wry smile three all it was a long way back wasn't he to be playing that was not an easy volley. Dipping, low, missable. 4-3. And trying to execute the, the drop volley against one of the fastest players out there. Yeah, here it is, the forehand. Yes. Nicely done. <laughs> we missed a lot of those. the rare occasions you've seen Novak absolutely commit to the open court. Smart shot to go back in behind him. Suggestion of a lingering glance down the other end. He fooled his man. 
He set up to hit and then cupped on the forehand side. This lovely drop. 5 4. Alcaraz. He backs himself. I think we all had our hearts in our mouths when he hit that shot, but on this a occasion was able to execute it perfectly. So five of the last six points in this tiebreak. Time violation, warning. Oh, of all the times, you see, and it's fair enough. Look, it's the rules. And we wondered. This and time, Fergus Murphy left the, the time jet there on the scoreboard just to emphasize it's at zero. Yes. No complaints. Players no time. are ready. Thank you. No time for complaint. Five all. Makeable volley. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with the play, was there? It was the right play. We've talked about how competent Alcaraz is at the net. Been disappointed to miss that. Five all. Set lead, Djokovic. Oh. Six all. As they change and set previous point, how? Calm and cool under pressure with the passing shots was Djokovic, and he almost get a massive surprise when he misses it. A relatively basic ball like that to bring it back to six all. But there is enormous pressure here. Can't take anything for granted on any shot. for a song.
missed ground strokes in Seven, the net. Six. Alcaraz. Set point the other way. of Spain never come back from two sets down and he's managed to do what so few have done lately winning a breaker against Djokovic Love 15. After a natural high in a match, like mm -hmm. a tremendous tiebreaker, people go out, they go to the loo, they put the kettle on, and whatever people are doing, the players have had to come straight out and concentrate. That was a missed opportunity to take a 30-love lead in this opening service game for Djokovic. Thirty fifteen. Snowback could do with the bounce there. 30 all. The court has worn well this year. Yeah, it has worn well, but you see, that's right where the players often land on their serve. It just gets beaten up more than anywhere else on the surface. Like a spinner putting the ball into that uh, well, yeah, we're gonna dodgy start patch. Talking about cricket soon. off the forehand too now is Alcaraz 30 40 serve only 91 miles an hour but had a lot of work on it this is the point 
at the French Open recently in this much storied semi-final they played these two men that uh, Alcaraz started to cramp and lost it physically. forehand Tim to set up the controlling of the point advantage yeah you really Alcaraz. feel that there's sort of clarity of thought from Alcaraz using all his skill set look at that balance just getting across to the backhand using his left hand get around the outside of the ball another break point opportunity let first one was that a let well, a lead is indicated on the computer that Fergus Murphy has got. And there's no debating it. It's an electronic device. And it just sits in the center band. And Novak caught the line with the serve and liked his first serve. in the lead haven't been able to say that much today you rubbing a bit of salt into a room oh it's just always four semis always. Are you kidding that's why i just ignored and have a look at my record <laughs> Looking up at his coach and saying, good point, wasn't it, coach? But I still lost it. Love 15. Such a good effort from Alcaraz to get the break in the first game of the third set, but he's still got to back it up. First time for a long time when we see Djokovic have to stop pressing because he's being pushed around here a bit more than what he was there in the opening set and a half. We talked about the changes Alcaraz might have to make, and now we'll sort of focus on on him. Thirty fifteen. How he he's got to get back into this. Alcaraz really seems like he's now playing with the freedom. He was up against it in that second set. It was a must win now. He's got the momentum. How does Djokovic fight back? Seems to beat him as well in this last 15 minutes. Novak has had more trouble with no pace and generating his own than having to feed off when Akrath is actually you know, bullying that ball around the court with power.
14-13. And I think it's a bit early to say that Djokovic is rattled, but definitely looks a little bit fragile mentally right now. Hasn't had his own way in the last 15, 20 minutes. Alcaraz leads two games to love, third set. Djokovic had the chance to go two sets to love up. And missed a ground stroke in the net. Down a break in the third now. Oh. 15 love. He said the key for him is to smile, and he is now. I promise you, this little poke down the line was fun. And that is an elastic 20-year-old. Really trying to get the crowd on his side, but is that poking the bear at the other end of the court? Fifteen setting. to get out of that point it looked like that forehand that last one that he finished his semi-final against Medvedev with quite whip it as hard but how does he get that other one most people would have had to run on and slow down these are must-win points for Djokovic Forty thirty. Let's for so. Okay, everyone just sort of 
Getting Lee. back in now, and Fergus Murphy asking him to sit down. Just uh, That's what I think. Carlos They've seen that very well. He's actually mixed up his speeds. There was an example of that. This was a very deliberate high floating forehand that got the error from Djokovic again. Fifteen all. Prince and Princess of Wales, two of the three children, no Louis today. There's no way he's going to sit still long enough. <laughs> no chance. Fifteen thirty. Coming off his concentration levels here. The last two returns of the previous game was the start of it. 15 40. Yeah, intensity just dropped a couple of poor unforced errors. A forehand volley at 15 all. He should have knocked off. He missed it. And now two break back point opportunities for Djokovic. Well, he adjusted on the high backhand. He'd missed one earlier 30, in the 40. game, but the high forehand this time. More ground stroke errors in the last 15 minutes. And uh, that reaction was because of the breeze is holding it up. He's saying, I get ready to swing, and then the ball's stopping as I'm ready to go at it. Carlos Alcaraz challenging the call, left service line ball was called out. <laughs> Second serve. That will frustrate you because that was the yes. opposite effect. That's the first one that's really shot through and not held up with the breeze. Carlos Alcaraz has two challenges remaining. <laughs> Let for some.
shaping up to hit it to start with. Then the drop shot, and then just pushing it through the court. Advantage, Alcaraz. Djokovic going the wrong way with that one. That's not going to feel good for the boss. is gone for Djokovic. Alcaraz leads three games to one. Third set. Novak Djokovic challenging the call. Just right a baseline. Slightly ball. delayed call. Ball's called out. Alcaraz is having a good long look down at this baseline. Ball overturned. Replay the point. Decision from Djokovic. Love 15. It, he was a little unlucky because it was a miss hit floating return. Oh. Hawkeye, who can track him? the ball for us and suggested that was actually going out had he left it. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. That's the first one.
Is he just bringing this ball back to the umpire to Fergus Murphy, saying it's a little bit soft? C15. So five balls will be in play instead of six. Almost a play out of the Pete Sampras grass court book, this one. He was chip and charge. Was that not crush and rush? More crush and rush, but uh, building pressure. <laughs> Out. And that's the kind of pressure it, it can bring. Yes. A quick unforced error from Djokovic. But you do feel like for the moment that Novak feels like as if he has to press a little more. Finding perfection but close to the line with that forehand once again off a first hit. Definitely not committing on these ground strokes. And it's yes. a blustery wind, as Todd was saying, and it's backing up on these forehands through the hitting area. It's finding his weight lifting or, or coming backwards. Certainly not going through the ball occasionally. Too good. Amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Backhand. Rarely. I've seen the same problems. It's awesome to watch. Advantage. And at 1 3 deuce. To hit a shot like that. The consequences of missing it be down at break point for the double break in this third set. Let's 
No Bad pace and another unforced error, Todd. Further through the middle and had to generate his own power. That one really through. Thank you. Advantage, Djokovic. Well, I'll have a look at this forehand. This is what you're asking him to do a little bit more, Andrew. Is that where he, he got through the ball down through impact? And you see the racket head straight towards the target, the body weight down the court with it. That was perfection there. Let's first one. Alcaraz just trying to really take advantage here. Some very unexpected unforced errors from Djokovic. He's got the break in the third, but quite fancies the double break. It's all about the timing again. When he passes the baseline, it says Fergus Murphy, after a point is ended, that's when he starts the clock. Novak making the point that the towels are a long way back now and they're not handed to him by the ball, by the ball kids. It's a, an illustration, that exchange, of his state of mind. Yeah, so often when it's Djokovic dealing with adversity, technically or mentally, he's normally so strong, but right now he's distracted. Coach Ivanisevic looking concerned, Alcaraz trying to take advantage. on a forehand opportunity there, electing to roll one in by his standards. Yes. Yeah, he had the ball to rip and didn't. This is a, a taxing game, isn't it? A draining game, a must-win one for the defending champion.
Advantage, Djokovic. Djokovic turned to work hard to win those points. Alcaraz refusing to give up. Alcaraz. The longest game of the championships in terms of points played for Novak Djokovic. 18 points in one game versus Rublev. But remember, this is for a double break this point for Alcaraz. You could say virtual set points. No, it goes on. Yes. Some chart tired children in that box. They might have to call a medical timeout. Ice cream timeout. Something. Decibels are, are rising with the grunting. Deuce. This is, they've got a lot invested in this game, both these players, and nobody will know the emotions of each player better than their partners, wife, Wait, please. Ball boy, thanks. Sir, can you throw case. that ball back? Thanks. Thank you. Anywhere. Yeah, before you stick it in your bag. Thank you. Thank you. He's been so hard there. <laughs> He's now blushing. Yeah, I'll send Jack over there if he's not careful.
wasn't the best of volleys. It was a difficult sort of ball floating. But he didn't commit totally, gave Alcara the chance for that running pass. This is point number 25. Djokovic fans because when he starts to tire a little bit he starts Advantage. to Alcaraz. lose balance just flop enough. a bit yeah and that's starting to happen pushed out wide of forehand a couple of points ago he looked like he needed a walking stick at the end of it it's just starting to get challenging for him he's got to find a way to hang on to this serve ah Finding the strength on the break points down. Yes. There is a lot invested. This is a contest within a contest. That's 26 points. They both are committed. It's just one break of serve at the moment. If Djokovic can hold on, he's inflicted a body blow on Alcaraz. If Alcaraz wins the game, he's virtually won the set. Seven minutes of tension. If it you get to 15 juices, so you just play seven day four. <laughs> Look at this young man. He's just getting warmed up. He's 20. Unbelievable game. Novak Djokovic challenged challenging him. the call, left far sideline. Well, if he's wrong, the game the is ball gone. Was called in. You wonder whether Djokovic's body was just in front of the line judge. No doubt. <laughs> call over time. Hey, <laughs> now Karath manages to raise a wry smile. This is a glorious game. Health juice. <laughs> Novak Djokovic challenging the call. Right center service line ball was called out. Carlos has wandered over to the backhand side. He's sort of given the indication it was in. But now he's going to go back. Nice bluff. <laughs> yeah. Nice bluff. Not his first rodeo, is it? Djokovic has two challenges remaining.
Well, was such a variety of spin to get to this point where he had the clean, driving, flat passing shot, but he heavy, high top spin ball. Then that slice one that dipped hard. Such variety coming from the end of Alcaraz that's just <laughs> creating some magnificent tennis. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Santana, 1966, Nadal, possibly the greatest match of all time. Please, no Federer. noise during the server's motion. Thanks. You almost feel that Novak. 40 love. Maybe has to let this set go and refocus. I mean, it, the physicality of that last game alone would have taken it a lot out of him. Not usually something you would see him do, though. 40-15. Fifteen. No question he's a little rattled, but if Alcaraz takes this third set, you can certainly expect the response early in the fourth from Djokovic. Carlos Alcaraz challenging the call right far sideline. Ball was called out. Second serve. Alcaraz leads five games to one, third set. Carlos Alcaraz has one challenge remaining. That was 24 minutes less long than the previous game. <laughs> it's 5-1, but the set's taken 58 minutes. It doesn't happen often. Mixed doubles partners Last together 15. then. Silver at London 2012.
Love City. Let this set get away and love 14. Three quick points. Beginning of the third or uh, sorry, fourth set. It's going to be fascinating. You still wouldn't want to give your serve away, would you? At this point, then you 14. make Carlos serve it out. Then you can at least be leading in that fourth set if you hold your serve. And yep. You can build pressure that way. There might be a bathroom break after this game. It will be for me. Game. Oh, yeah. and That's great. Good set, Alcaraz. Yeah. Still could be quite a wait. Love 15. The weight may have hurt Alcaraz's hit. Fifteen thirty. That's first one. Forty thirty. Yeah, and Karan. Straight sets, just do him in straight sets, that's what Sarandi would do. of the tram lines on both sides. Love 15. Well, this is a point where Novak's getting the feeling about what it's like to play against himself. Yes, exactly that. It's a taste of his own medicine. Alcaraz was doing so well to keep in the point, keep the ball deep. Oh, he's oh, just 
Djokovic challenging the call, right baseline. Ball was You wonder in. whether Fergus Murphy saw that because then Alcaraz missed the backhand. Oof. Love study. It's good umpiring. It's good umpiring, but it's all going wrong for Djokovic right now. Let's first start. Fifteen thirty. Novak Djokovic has two challenges remaining. Great early strike on the backhand return. Got Djokovic on the defensive 15, and 14. down he goes. The back end is still there. The forehand's been the shot that hasn't worked as 30, efficiently or effectively for Novak in sets two, three. Still a break point. Advantage, Djokovic. Hold. Well, he found a little on the forehand, but one game all. Got What's a graphic that? to show you here in a moment to show you how much his forehand hasn't been effective today.
And here it is, so off the quality of forehand, this is throughout the tournament, speed, spin, depth and width of his forehand. We can tell how the quality of shot is. And so previous rounds up at 8.2, today at 6.6. .6. That is a big difference for the champion. Fifteen all. Him, Alcaraz. Alcaraz at his finest. Big first serve. 30, Ripping 15. the forehand into the backhand corner of Djokovic and then just knocking off the backhand volley. This is what I love about him. There's no hesitation for a young player about coming forward. Forty fifteen. Court coverage again from Alcaraz. Reflect on the cramping in Paris yeah. after a couple of hours here. It's three three hours. hours 19 and yeah. he's still covering the court. Like he's just started. Djokovic is knocking on the Alcaraz. door. He's, he's doing his best to find a way past. He's having a go at his camp. This is really the uh, a match within a match, isn't it? This phase. Too big and at a bit too low. Yes. Djokovic has saved great points already in his opening service game in this set. Looking for his breakthrough. Advantage, Alcaraz.
just that going out until it hit the neck cord. Deuce. Here it is down the line. Don't know. Probably going to find the line, but it found the neck cord. Has there ever been a, a player come along who, within a rally, can just up the ante of a, a strike Alcarath. that's a neutral ball like Alcaraz can? Yeah, phenomenal I, power on that forehand. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that. wanted in that game. Fifteen love. Thirty love. There's nothing wrong with the overhead. 30 15. One big stride and a swing of the racket from Alcaraz. Incredible forehand cross court winner. This is only his 10th Grand Slam. Well, the US Open last year, the youngest world number one. Carlos Alcaraz challenging the call, right far sideline. 
Bold was called in. Asking his team if they thought it was good. It wasn't. Second serve. Where does he go with this second serve? Creating an angle out of nothing. The return was good. Deep. 14 30. 30 all. 2 1 down in sets. 2 1 down in games. You think it's going to be easy to dispose of Djokovic here? Nobody's done it in 10 years and 9 days on this court. Well, there's that slice, Brecken. We talked about it earlier. It wasn't there, and then he has put it into the repertoire, and that's what he can get out of it. He brings Djokovic forward onto his best shot, that ripping cross-court forehand. Djokovic. He's trying to be a little bit too cute. Maybe he should have. He had another chance where he could hit and rip, drive the backhand, try to just roll it cross court. Djokovic. Two still games all, fourth set. Extended to Juice, though. Once again, still struggling to hold, but some really good backhands throughout that game. No time to be afraid, says Karath after his semi final victory. No time for either player. Fifteen love. He's definitely decided to get more aggressive, uh, Djokovic here. He's flattening out the ball a little more. Going safe a lot of the time with the hard flat backhand cross court. 
So even though he's aggressive, he's playing percentage as well. He does that. Yeah. 30 15. Yeah. Where's the leg strength? The foundation from which all of these shots come. Himself under a little bit of pressure at 30 all. Could have left it, it was going out. Mm. <laughs> that is out. <laughs> 30 40. Delighted to be sitting near that, wouldn't you? That's a surprise. Novak Djokovic challenging the call. Almost feels obliged right baseline. to challenge. Ball was called out. A backhand down the line, a fairly routine shot for him, especially on a break point that he's just lifted up. Ball stand. Oh. That's uh, against the rules Deuce for him. Novak Djokovic has one challenge remaining. Brilliant return. Advantage. He went big with that second serve and he didn't recover in time. Drilled through the center. Another break point for Djokovic. That's long. It well, certainly well, will be a challenge, but to the naked the eye. Left baseline ball. Was Why do we think out. that one was? I mean, well, Novak has not Novak gone. might be doing the bluff as well. He... Oh, no, that's that's the edge. Ball over time. Replay the point. Because it did look long. If it was clear, clear, he would have been on his way to the chair. Advantage, Djokovic. Break point Djokovic still. <laughs> Beaten for disguise on direction and power. That Oops. is a very tidy way to save a break point. The big wind up and the simple. Lifted drop shot. Elegant. Advantage, Djokovic. But it's such a long time since he's been able to get him running hard to that forehand. 
she's the greatest barometer of where Djokovic is. If she's up on her feet and she's just into the match, you know it's a big moment. Fifteen love. Here's the forehand that he starts to take some angle to Alcaraz. You see, he beats him with pace. He can almost take that a little shorter and drag Novak wider off that forehand as well. He's got the ability to do it, hasn't used it a lot. Fitness, physios, family, trainers, doctors. Djokovic pummeling the backhand cross court. Some were looking for the drop shot there. 40 15. The champion consolidating or trying to this one break, trying to push into a fifth set. setting. Djokovic leads four games to two. He's looked vulnerable for quite some time, Djokovic, but now starting to turn the tables in this fourth set. Fifteen love.
Oh, uh, that is a wide split in a green, moist area of the court. He says he's OK. Glad he's 20 and not 40, because he just pushes away, and that's an uncomfortable moment. The worn patches on the court so much easier to stand on. That's fine. But you can really see where Novak is 30, trying 15. to be more aggressive coming forwards, had a lot of smashes overheads. Just, I think he feels he has to try to shorten the points a little bit. Make it try to get rid of those longer extended rallies. Yeah. Fifteen. Game out for New balls, please. As we head to uh, early evening, just about to low. click over to 6 p.m., that wind that was quite an effect early in the first couple of sets has dropped just a little. I think that is helping Novak here in the fourth. He's getting a better strike quality on the ball. A dictating point him. from Novak. He, the aggressor coming forward. Djokovic leads five games to three. Fourth set. No future with drop volleys like that.
Oh. Called wide. Well, yes, called wide. Carlos Alcaraz challenging the call. Left far sideline. Ball was called out. I think it was Fergus Murphy who uh, called it from the chair. And then the arm came out from the line judge, actually. Ball stand. Very late. But very correct. Love 30. Djokovic, it goes without Love saying. 14. Would like to take this set now and open the fifth set on his own deal. Oh. 15-40, Carlos Alcaraz has two challenges remaining. to a deciding fifth set new territory for both players Fifteen love. Very loud. A dismissive swipe.
four hours played and both players moving well. 30 all. Back in the game. Alcaraz at 30 all. No hesitation on that one as soon as he knew he had Djokovic at full stretch. Djokovic taking the opportunity to move forward. Not the worst approach he's yeah, ever he had, but look at that passing shot from Alcaraz. Let's first throw. Only 117 miles an hour, but beautifully placed. Advantage, Djokovic. Such a good point and such a good reaction from Alcara. How is this forehand? Deuce. Just curls it around the corner, holds it and whips around the outside over the high part of the net. It was so low. Such it's a difficult shot. Spin from low in the court. That takes great racket head speed to create. Class serving though, and the early pressure in this opening game of the fifth set. Saving a break point and coming through in the first game of the fifth first set, game. just as in the first Final game sense. of the fourth, Todd. Well, we talked about the forehand at the beginning of the fourth not being as effective throughout this match as it has been the tournament. 
In sets one to three, Djokovic's average rally point was here on those red dots to find a way to get back in without his forehand today. Have a look at what he did in set four. He got inside the baseline to take time away from Alcaraz, and that was a key to getting back into this match. Challenging the ball. Left baseline, ball was called out. I've seen so many swings in momentum in this match, and it was Djokovic dominating that first set. Alcaraz doing well to get back in the second and top in the third, I and mean, chances early in the fourth, but Love right 15. now you feel Djokovic is looking to take advantage. Strong opening service game. 15 here. <laughs> 15 all. Carlos Alcaraz has two challenges remaining. Fifteen setting. He's five victories and one loss in five sets at Grand Slam finals. It's a long run at any stage of the match, let alone second game of the fifth. After four hours and eight minutes. But he, he wouldn't make that effort unless he felt like it was worth it, unless he's on complete automatic pilot. Absolutely, and sends a message that Djokovic is going to continue to chase it down. Such a deep return that I think Alcaraz was hoping for an out call, wondering whether he should challenge. 30 footing. Uh, does the match turn here? Singles final. Break point saved by the young man.
Superb. The presence of mind. Advantage, Alcaraz. That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Djokovic absolutely left flat-footed, and he's one of the quickest. Not to say, yeah. Man who reads the game so beautifully didn't see that coming. Just incredible. Defensive skills of both men. And how quickly they can turn defense on. into offense like oh, that point there from Alcaraz. Uh, the athletic ability of a couple of points ago and then the explosive power on the forehand side. on the line now for that love fifth thing. side to side it'll be the kitchen sink next that was huge there across had to act quickly you only get one point for each of these points they're giving it all Fifteen all. One ten, lost one, five set matches at Wimbledon. Last loss, two thousand and six. <laughs> Novak Djokovic challenging the call, right service line. Ball. And if this were to be out. in, the call came a long time after Alcaraz made contact with the return. Second serve. Fortunately, it's out. What I'm interesting here all. is that Novak he's starting to get challenges. some width on the ball, Remain. Alcaraz, so he can get forward to get these volleys. Novak wins through depth in this match, I feel, in the fifth, and the Spaniard wins through opening the court up and pushing his opponent into the corners. So there's the depth of the Djokovic forehand.
who's going to take their chance first in this fifth. Another break point for Alcaraz. Taking his hand out though after that they return, you wonder whether the uh, racket into the net post reverberated into the wrist. Well, it's, a, it's a pretty big piece of tree, that. Some lovely hard timber. Reverberated into his brain right now. Djokovic needs to regroup. Oh. You're right about the wrist. Dirty love. Forty love. Straightforward game and well played. 3-1, a consolidation at the break of serve. Alcaraz leads three games to one. Final set. And a broken racket as well, we remember. Disqualified at the US Open in 2020 after unintentionally hitting a line judge. That was a dangerous moment. For Please. A lot of reasons. Still shaking that wrist around. Yes. Fifteen love. Alcaraz was able to run away with that third set. I'd like to do the same in the fifth, but pretty sure Djokovic is going to have other ideas. Oh. Hey. I expect it. A little lull here like we're having and getting the turns lulls. back into play at some point here because the opening few games were so intense. It's who gets back onto their game quickly. Forty love. Forty fifteen. Again, the 
think of it. That's a first-class response. Great depth on that approach shot from Djokovic, just checking on the line. Love 15. Second serve. It was 121 miles an hour at love 15. We see Djokovic go for the big second serve, but less so Alcaraz. And he backed it up with a whipped forehand as well, with no margin. Brilliant play. Fifteen thirty. Oh, what a gift, what a gift. You don't see that often with Djokovic in any match, no, let alone the fifth set of a Grand Slam final. Talked about Djokovic's five-set record, how about Ankara? Lifted up again, and the breeze at his back. And it's the first time for a while where the, the breeze held the ball up. 40, 30. It's been laying low for a while, and now it's back in here. It caused that one to be mistimed. Alcaraz leads four games to two final set. Fifteen love. He's spoken about Djokovic taking his time in between points. Seems like he's rushing a little here. Fifteen all. Not the cleanest of strikes from Alcaraz, but the ball just dipping inside the baseline. Let's whistle. He's got uncles up there. He's got brothers. He's got his agent, mum and dad, physio.
30-15. Really getting inside the baseline to take the time away from Alcaraz. That's the only way it seems that he can press. if you come in on a top spin approach shot. He has absolutely mashed this ball. Look at that ball sit on. up though. It gave Alcaraz time to be able to really rip this one, but still he's so deep. He's in midair. <laughs> and he's been out there for four and a half hours. <laughs> it's, it's too good. Novak Djokovic challenging the call. Right far sideline, ball was called out. Challenging between first and second serves can be a little off putting for the rhythm. Second now, does Djokovic go for the big second serve? Somebody whistling, totally ridiculous. That is tough. It's again and again we've seen this man produce his best under the most Fourth trying of circumstances. People whistling. Novak has one challenge remaining. The wind's been swirling. He's down 2-4 in the fifth. To a kid who won't go away. And I get the feeling he loves it. What a hold. That's magnificent. It's what you expect from the champion. New balls, please. That's away. A sliding pirouette from the Serb. Love 15. Look at this. Right leg goes down. Decides to go that way. <laughs> First serve was a little tight, halfway up the net, but a quality kicker on the second. With the newer balls, probably Lift just getting a little bit bigger on Djokovic. 320 points played. Another one just perhaps flying on Djokovic. New balls a little bit quicker through the air, skidding through off the Alcaraz backhand. Change of direction that nobody knew was coming, and I suspect Alcaraz the only one, and just flummoxes everybody. Second game in a row, he went down in the count. 
one produced a bit of magic. That was absolutely fearless tennis. Five games to three. Final set. Thank you. Thanks. Players are ready. Fifteen love. Alcaraz challenging the call. Right baseline ball was called out. Ball stand. 30 love. What he loves. Carlos Alcaraz has one challenge remaining. Forty fifteen. <laughs> Love 15. Exactly what Novak was hoping for. Just lifts the lob over a lazy forehand top spin. 15 on. As cool as you like, he's just missed a drop shot. It was well handled by Djokovic as well, but look at the control under the most severe pressure. Djokovic went down, got up again, slight miss hit. The pass was excellent, the reach was better.
empty setting. Finding the first serve, and he would certainly like another one here. Djokovic is deposed. There's a new king of centre court. Carlos Alcaraz of Spain. 7-6, 6-1, 3-6, 6-4. He's beaten the best of all time. He's beaten a man who is virtually invincible on this court. <laughs>